Hey guys, back again. Um, today I thought I would do a gameplay on Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter. Now, this game, guys, I, I have actually played this before, so I could give a little bit of insight to it. This is like one of them games where it's like teen boy fantasy, if you get what I mean. I mean, you you got the school-looking girls, as in anime, you know what I mean? But to be fair, guys, if you take that out of the equation and the actual look at the actual game core of the game, the game is actually pretty good. If I had to describe it, it's like um, the gameplay of a modern Resident Evil, but with obviously not so much detail to the zombies. The game is actually pretty good, guys. And um, I'm going to get into playing it in a minute, and you guys will see the gameplay. You make your decision for yourself. Now, apparently on the case, it says only on PlayStation. Now, whether or not this is true today or not, I don't know, because they bring them out, and then they obviously change their mind. But it says at the back of here, lose the clothes, save your life. The survival story of five high school girls set in the world of one Chocobrambra. I've got that game on all, guys. That's pretty dangerous as well. Bullets fly at school surrounded by hurdles of zombies, is what it says. It is one player. It is also two to five player online, if the online is still working, I don't know, guys. It requires 1,690 megabytes minimum. And that's pretty much all I can say, guys, apart from the company is from ASCII Games. So, yeah, guys, anyway, I'm not going to bore you too much with the conversation. Let's get on with the game. We'll talk as we play, obviously. That's what we do. <clears throat> Sorry if the other couple of videos over the last few days have been a bit um, bleak and boring. Um, when I tried to do gameplays, obviously that it went kind of wrong here and there. So you know what I mean. Just yeah. So as you guys can see, yeah, you aim and shoot. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty good, guys, for the actual zombies, and the blood is really good as well. You can actually change the colour of the blood, apparently. So you can jump, you can roll. So yeah, okay. Oh, cool, you actually know you can knock your arms off, though. Let's try that again. I didn't do that time, guys, but... <clears throat> yeah, um... Hopefully you guys can hear me. I think I've messed up at the start of the gameplay, and... Normally, guys, what I do is I go into a party, so it dulls down the game sound. So just give me a minute, guys, and I might actually just actually hear me. I kind of messed that up, guys, so sorry about that. I'm normally with it, guys. I normally know what I'm doing. You know, I normally get into the pipe before I start the gameplay, but I started the game straight away as it worked, took too to, to, to load in, and I forgot to get into a party, so sorry about that. But as I said, guys, the game is pretty good. Take out the equation, you know, it is for, you know, your teen boy fantasy sort of thing, but also the actual gameplay of it is amazing. I mean, it's fast-paced, there's no glitches, you know what I mean? Some of these games, they, <clears throat> you know I mean? They don't have the, f the the flow of movement, whereas, obviously, they really thought about that with this game, and they didn't just think about, obviously, all these teeny, teeny little girlies in schooly outfits shooting zombies. They actually did actually put their mind to it and make it a really good game, as you can see. Um, now, obviously, I've not played it on this console, guys. I've played it on the um, my older account I had, and um, I got quite far. It is quite addictive because the, the you know as you go per further and further into it, you get better guns unlocked. And like I said, this, the game is quite good. I've never actually fought a boss yet, guys. So we'll have to see what happens in the next say few minutes of gameplay because <clears throat> I don't know what we're going to come up against. I will skip all those cutscenes, guys, just because it'll be easier. Crap. Now, there is no, like, aim down the sights with this. Obviously. I was trying to see if there was, there wasn't. That's what I was doing then, guys. You can pick stuff up, as you can see.
But like you can't move on guys until like you've killed all the zombies on the one level or or, or as an objective I think. So as you can see I can't. Yeah, and yeah and yeah your school friend will follow you as well, which so you've got a bit of help in it. There we go, we've got to get to that flag, that's it right, so Oh, I see, yes, so you like... I don't need anything at the minute. So why is it doing that? I don't know. Why that hasn't come off the screen, guys, I don't know, because... Press up and down to select... Yeah, I am doing it. It's nothing I don't need. Underwear, trap, wire, whatever next. Right. Anyway, guys, what you got to do is look for the stairs now, obviously. Oh, that ain't. That's a bathroom, toilet, or whatnot. Uh... Where the hell is the stairs? Like I said, because I haven't played this game in a long time, but <clears throat> I always felt that the game deserved to have another game played because I thought it was pretty damn good. Ah, zombie. Shit, I pushed one button and rolled towards him. The only thing I would have changed about the game, guys, is obviously an aim button would have been nice because. You're so used to like games like this, you push like the other trigger like this one to aim and then the other one to fire. Where in this one, unfortunately, it's all aimed with the analog stick and then you just fire. So you kind of feel like you're going to miss or something. But no, that is how the game play works. So maybe there's something here we need. <clears throat> I can't see nothing. Ah, oh, there's a zombie. Now we should be able to go through the blue zones. So as you guys can see, I mean, it is a really good game to be fair. Um, I don't know if it's rare to pick up. I mean, I've had it a while now, guys, so I don't know if you could just pick it up from anywhere. And I managed to get my copy of Amazon, so... Like I said, I don't know if you could pick it up from everywhere and everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, you, if you can do that, guys, then you know I'd recommend picking this game up because it is quite good. I mean, there's no major glitches to the game or anything like that I mean is it gonna write is it worth writing home about you know what I mean it, it, it's got that nostalgia for certain people if you know what I mean if you like zombie games and want something different then yeah this is gonna be something you're gonna like if you're just like it oh god no 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 then you know you're not gonna want it I mean, I've got to admit, it was addictive when I first got it, but now playing it, it's a little bit stale, obviously. I mean, I'm lost a little bit now, where the frick the hell I'm going. You won't let you through the blue zone to get to the checkered flag, guys, till you've killed all the zombies, so... And how? And I found this out, obviously, the hard way, because I was like, well, why won't you let me through? And I'm, more and more zombies kept coming, and I had to kill them all. It's a bit like a survival game, I'd say, guys. It's not like it's not like Resident Evil in the sense of run around looking for something, looking for somebody or whatever. This game is more of a wave-type survival game. As you can see, the more zombies that come, the more you kill. You'll see eventually that this blue wall will disappear, and then I can go down there. And then I'll have to do it again, guys, before I can end the level. I suppose they did it like that because maybe they thought they'd have a little bit more longer gameplay because what could you really do inside a school rather than get out and run home you know what I mean <laughs> so they probably looked at it as you had to do it in waves like this like I said later on guys because I've unlocked this character beside me now I could probably play as her the next round and I'll obviously have her gun which is the machine gun which is a lot better than the handgun obviously no brains really needed to, to explain that one really was there but you know what I mean guys I am I, I I'm trying to do my best. I mean, I, I didn't develop the game, as you know. I'm just playing it, guys, and I'm explaining from what I've played of it. You know what I mean? Have I done it now? Can I? No, I still can't bloody get out there. Where is he? I can hear him. Is he in the wrist one? Is he?
Alright guys, so the, the minute this is obviously not what you guys want to see right now, you want to see me getting on with the game, but right now I can hear the zombie but I can't find him, so... I don't... Get out of the way, you silly twank. Alright, don't get out of the way, I'll just run around the table then, you... Idiot. I have tried, guys, not to swear so much in my games, so that obviously I'm trying to be appropriate for everyone. Even though I wouldn't really say this game's appropriate for younger audiences, because schoolgirls of skimpy outfits and zombies, you know what I mean? But there he is. Where the hell was he the whole time, you know what I mean? Has he done enough to get this blue barrier to come down now? How many more we got killed? This blue bloody barrier goes down, guys. That's like stupid or what? I haven't forgot about doing live streams, guys. I wanted to actually explain that in this gameplay that I will obviously be doing live streams still. It's just that I feel that I need to find a game that I'm going to do like a lot of it in one sitting rather than just do a like 10 20 minute stream of it so i will be doing it guys it just depends on what game i'm playing at the time i mean <clears throat> and i also will not be like just doing one gameplay leaving it forever like if i if i feel like i want to do more gameplay but guys you might see like multiple streams of the one same game like with fifa i did two of them obviously because i didn't have the mic on in one of them and i wanted to tell people what i actually did really think about the games uh, so yeah, but you might just get more gameplays anyway, if I'm feeling like I want to play more with you guys, you know, show you a bit more, do a career, talk about some of it as I'm doing it, you know, guys, so, it, that it just going to be like, oh, look, I've done 15 minutes of that game, oh, look, I've done another 15 minutes of that game, this is just a basic, um, you know, showing you guys what I feel of that particular game as I'm playing it at that time, and then, obviously, if I feel I want to play more of it, and then I will. Look, I'm probably going to do some more Project Cars one, one day. But I won't be going back to Project Cars 2, guys. Because if you watched yesterday's video, I did not like that one. That we're near as much as the very first game. Now, I wish um, this would end. So I could actually show you a bit more of the game. Instead of just this. Okay, so it's about two minutes left, guys. So, yeah, we've got, we've got to survive. They make it to the destination. Oh, how, guys? When... It won't let me through the bloody thing here. So how exactly do I get through there then? I've absolutely forgot guys. It didn't actually tell me nothing, did it? Two minutes left to get to the destination. That's fine. You can't go through there. But oh shit, yes you can. Guys, I've managed to get out of the way, woman. Look at the gap there. Look how skinny I am. Yeah, I still can't get through. I'll make a move. Shit. I thought we had to do it in bloody waves. Sorry, guys. I, I messed up yet again. Fucking hell. I really am trying to like get this done for you, so you can see a bit more. We got 44 seconds to make it to the destination. This is not happening, guys. Not happening. But we're gonna give it a go. Come on. I can see there's 30 seconds left. She won't go through the bloody door. Well, guys, it looks like I messed up this round. It's all right, though. We could start again. Now I know how to actually get through. Kind of. So we're going to actually fail this one miserably. Oh, that's a freaking big TV, isn't it? Is that a TV? No, it's a chalkboard. God damn it. I look like a TV. I guess that's a TV. I want it. Then again, guys, would you really want a TV that big, really? Would you? <coughs> I don't think I would. 
TV I've got now is big enough. Can't really see what I've got to do now. I don't left the Royal Tom. So yeah, guys, I kind of messed that up. Sorry about that, but I didn't actually realize what I had to do. So we'll do it again. Now I know what I've got to do. I should be running straight through it. I feel a right idiot doing that. But like I said, guys, I haven't played the game in a very, very long time. At least two or three years. And um, you know, it's a good game, though, to be fair. I mean, a lot of people are going to straight away, you know, think about, ooh, yeah, it's just got schoolgirls in it, isn't it? But no, take away the anime girls in the game and actually go for the gameplay of it. It is a really good game. And, and I can't fault it, guys. Graphically, as good as you can see. There's no there's smooth movement. The guns are better, obviously, when you get it to a better character because I've just got a crappy handgun. And I have push push left to make sure I could change gun look make myself look like a bigger idiot. But yeah. Now it's this bit. Am I supposed to kill so many here or something? Revive your alloys. I don't need to revive her, she's alive. Oh my god guys, I just have to shoot the bloody doors. We're learning this one together, guys, at the minute. But as you guys can see, you make it to the... Um, and mission's complete on that one, so that was quite easy, guys. If I would have known that in the first place, guys, I would have just done that, you know, instead of running around. Why she got really, really excited over a wooden sword, I have no idea. But, okay. But, like, yeah, guys. Um, like I said, it's all personal preference. Yeah, again, though. My opinion is, though, would I pick this game up again now, knowing not what it is, and I've played it? Yeah, I definitely would. I definitely would. I find the game, you know, it's good graphics. It's, you know, it's good to play through as well so you know I mean if you get all the dirty people out the heads out the cloud a minute you actually think about the gameplay you're not the like I said the fact you run around as a school girl I don't know what it is with um certain anime but they always go with a school girl and that don't they, they don't really go with like a uh, you know they, it's always a, the school girl look I don't know what it is with anime and that I just it's always puzzled me, really, guys. But you know, just why they never went with like a a certain elder woman, or you know, I mean, I thought most teens' fantasies now is the older woman, isn't it? Nowadays, isn't it? I don't know, guys. I'm not getting into that. I don't know. I really don't know. See, guys, when you get a better gun, then you can really have some fun with this game. Look at that. Headshot, headshot. Oh, shit, I got reload. Headshot, 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 headshot. There is actually a trophy, guys, for killing, I think, a thousand zombies. So, you know, it does pay to kill them all as well, but if you don't want to. See, that was one of the walls I was on about. That's what I thought that was, guys. I thought you had to kill them all to the wall to drop down, but no, it's only the red ones, guys. So the red ones are up, or orange, whatever, they're that colour. You can't go through until you've killed all these. Well, I won't be playing it for much longer, guys. Just a little bit. I just want to show people, you know, a bit of gameplay. If you do want to see more of the game, then, you know, just let me know and I will do more, obviously. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I've got a lot of games with where you know, we've got we've got that um, extreme dead or alive game, and to be fair, I loved the original one better because you had jet ski racing in that in that, and the new one they don't have that. Shit! 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 Oh, I have heard, guys, that they are actually going to be remaking Resident Evil 3. You know, if they do, that is going to be awesome. I just hope they don't F it up, because obviously that's one of my favourite Resident Evil games. 
I think for me it was three, then two, then one. But so it went backwards for me. But I'm hoping they don't F it up, you know. I'm hoping they don't completely change it so it don't even look recognisable. And I'm hoping that they make the nemesis, you know, big. Because he was big and he didn't, you know. He stood around, what, 10 foot, 9 foot tall in, in the other game? And I'm hoping, you know, they may even make him a little bit bigger in this one, you know what I mean? Make him maybe 12 foot with a big chest and his rocket launch from that lot and his stars and that. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. That really would be awesome. I have got a lot of the Resident Evil games, guys, so eventually you will see them come up on the stream as well as either gameplay or a live stream, I don't know. I haven't quite decided. But what we're going to do, guys, we're going to do this one now and then I'm going to stop the gameplay here because we're trying to keep my videos down and then obviously, you know, I'm just showing people my game collection this way as well as maybe I'll do a actual video one day on my collection and it depends if people want to see that um it is going to take me a while guys i mean you'll see it will take me a while even if i did it every all day today all day tomorrow all day that i would not be able to stream all my games this year guys so you'll have to bear with me while i do it but i'm having fun doing it with you guys you know that's the main thing you know i'm having fun I like talking to you guys, making a conversation. I also like it when you guys do answer back. You know, I've had a few replies and I've been most grateful for them replies. Um, you know, at the end of the day, guys, I, I'm no professional at doing these streams. You know, I just do, I just talk to you guys as I talk to any normal person. You know, I mean, if I was talking to somebody, they asked me, Oh, you got that new game yet? Yeah, well, what do you think of it? You know, I tell them as I'm telling you guys. I'm not trying to be, you know, some like journalist on games and stuff you know i'm just doing my thing guys play the games i've bought with my own money and telling you what i really think about them and this one i i like it some people might like it for a different reason than i do i mean i like it because of you know third person shooting game it wouldn't have bothered me guys if there would have been anime blokes in the game with samurai swords or anime girls with just their knickers on you know what i mean at the end of the day, I go on the gameplay. Don't get me wrong. Who doesn't want to play as schoolgirls with zombies, killing zombies at the end of the day? But also, taking into consideration of the gameplay itself, it's really good. It reminds me... I haven't found any like weapons yet with like chainsaws or samurai swords, because if it did, it would kind of remind me of Dead, uh, Dead Rising. And I will be doing a gameplay on them as well at some point, guys, because I love them games. One thing that always puzzled me about Dead Rising, though, is how come we got one... Two and four on PlayStation. We never got the third one. Even, you know, like, it's confusing as shit. Now, where the bloody hell have I got to go? I've got to shoot those doors again. That's quite cool. you got to admit that, guys. I mean, they've got the physics right with the doors, you know, how they just sort of flop over when you shoot them. My dog is scratching and whatever else he's doing. <clears throat> we had a little joke yesterday. Me and my wife had a joke about the um, how Rottweilers. It doesn't matter what you're doing, their noise overbounds everything that you're actually doing. So, and that is definitely true, guys. I mean, you want to watch a film and that? It's ridiculous. I mean, I don't know about anybody else, guys. If you've got a Rottweiler, you know, let me know. But. My Rotty, you can't even have a takeaway, guys, without him, like, uh, where's mine? And I don't mean that, like, literally, he'll stare at you like he wants it. I mean, he'll literally bark, whine, and go nuts for it. You can't eat in peace. So what me and my wife do now is we get our takeaway, go upstairs with it. <laughs> I mean, we, we, I mean, I always make sure he's fed either the same time or, you know what I mean, or bef after us. And he still just moans. I never feed him before us, guys, because he'll always get that impression that everything should be his then. You have to show dominance and, you know. But he's just, he is, he's really bad for that, guys. I'll tell you what else he's bad for, right? He knows what McDonald's bags are. So if I go out and buy McDonald's and then I come home with it, as soon as I walk through the door, he knows what's in that brown bag. And he goes nuts. 
And the reason I say, guys, I have to go upstairs and eat it is because, right, he gives me, like, heartburn really bad. Because, like, you have to tell him to wait, wait, wait. I'll feed you in a minute, wait. And then, like, you know, and I've also done it where I fed him, yeah. And he's looking at his food like, nah, mate, I don't want that crap. I want that big old cheeseburger. And he'd be like, wine, 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 wine. And he doesn't stop, guys, he doesn't stop. And the trouble is, yeah, I've got a stair gate up so that obviously he can't come into the living room because we learn the hard way. I mean, we're, we're not cruel parents to our dogs, I'll call it that. Because we like to think of our dogs as like our children as well as a lot of other people that they do. There's you know, it's no funny factor with it. At the end of the day, we look after them, we treat them well, you know what I mean? We treat them too well. But basically, I've got a stair gate up so that I could um, portion up the living room. So I bought new sofas, new carpets, new everything, and the dog has a habit. See, we've done this like four times since we've owned him, and he's only coming up to four years old soon, guys. So we've done it every single year so far while we've owned him, and it's not been cheap, guys. It's set me back a few, a few thousand every time. So it's not cheap with him doing that, and uh, I'm not. We're not nasty enough to have him outside. Well, I don't. I don't agree with that. And with you, do guys? I'm not getting a dig at yes. I don't think I am. Some people think that you know dogs are animal animals and they should stay outside, and that's up to you guys. But when you've had him as long as we have, and you see the the character that he is, you know, you, we have him indoors. We have him as an indoor dog. The both our dogs are indoor dogs, and they're and they're not the same either, guys. We've got a Rottweiler and a Jug, so it's a complete difference in size. But believe it or not, the jug is more bossy than the rotty. The rotty just likes food. Everything food is his. <laughs> but it's all right. You know, we're getting used to it and sorting him out. But yeah, um, just what if anyone else has a rot one? It gets the same problems we get. Like you know, you'll order a takeaway, and the minute the bloke rings a doorbell or something, <laughs> your dog knows what it is. And then they'll sit like, oh, no. And he'll keep doing it and all. And then he'll, he'll, he'll talk as well. Like proper talk. Like. <laughs> it's like. Oh my, look, you know. And I mean. I've fed him at the same time guys. Like I said. I've fed him at the same time. I've had his. I've had his dish on the floor. Beside his food. And he just looks at it like. Nah. Man. I don't want that crap. Who wants pedigree chum man. When I can have your cheeseburger. <laughs> <clears throat> But I hope to do a lot more things on this channel, guys. I mean, I'm doing a lot of things for fun that I like doing, you know, making memories as well as having fun. And me and my wife said that we was going to probably do some reviews on some food maybe together because it's quite something funny. You know, everybody's got to eat, guys, and everybody's interacting with food in one way or another. So I thought I was going to do it because yesterday when we was eating our, our dinner, we had um, some baked beans from a shop we have in the UK called um, Lidl. And I normally get Branston beans because I find the, the sauce and the baked beans are better. But we had these little ones and I did not like them. I didn't like them at all, guys. They were disgusting. But, you know, it's... We're, I don't want people thinking that this channel, you know, I'm struggling, if you know what I mean. And I'm trying to just do a little bit of everything to see what clicks. No, in that, guys, I'm doing what, in, what I would normally do on a daily basis. Um, with that is I do collect figurines, I do collect horror figures and movie figures, I do collect horror movies and wrestling DVDs and I collect wrestling mobilia, um, I collect video games and I play video games a lot, uh, me and my wife do a lot together, we do like we do uh, challenge each other as like husband versus wife in food things and that we do that we actually do that guys with no camera now we said if we did it we would do it where you couldn't physically see us guys because we're not confident enough to be seen on the actual camera I mean I know you've seen my my hands and that and you know I'm, I'm heavily tattooed and some people take that the wrong way some people don't care some people do care obviously um yeah, you have to understand, guys, that me and my wife are both disabled in in our own way. So, 
you have to bear with us and let us go out road thing. But it's just fun, guys. That we you do like we'll go out and we'll go to like KFC and we'll say who can eat the hottest burger and that lot. I know they're not really hot, guys, but we've upped the ante a few times. We've gone out and bought our own chili peppers and jalapenos and slammed them into it and be like, right, let's see who could eat all this. <laughs> it's just just little bits of fun, like guys, but. You have to wait and see what I'll be doing on the channel, guys, because I mean, I've, at the minute it's just video games mainly. I've done the odd uh, review on an odd figure in my firework collection. That's about it, though. So just bear with me, guys, and you will see more and more stuff coming for different people that like to see different things and other than just gameplay. The reason I'm not doing any more gameplay on this, guys, is because I've actually ended the gameplay here. Uh, I just thought I'd get a little bit of talking. For those that want to hear what I have to say, you know, you've made it this far. Thanks a lot. It means a lot to me. For the ones that says, oh, God, he had not played for 10 seconds to turn it off. You know, still thanks anyway. You didn't even hear what I just said, but, you know, someone will tell you maybe one day. <laughs> but at the end of the day, guys, this is the problem with the world. The problem with the world is people ain't got time of day for people nowadays. And I just feel that that is so crap. It's got so crap. Everyone now is looking on their phone all the time and they don't care about actual conversation. You know what I mean? And when the conversation does come out of your mouth, it's normally something to do with what you've seen on the internet. <laughs> oh, did you see what Silly said on Facebook the other day? Did you see what blah, blah, blah said on Facebook the other day? Oh, did you see a thing on Facebook? Did you see a thing on Twitter? Did you see a thing on Instagram? No, 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 no. And that's all you ever say now, guys. I mean, I know that's what the world is turning into, you know what I mean? And, <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of it as well, guys. I'm guilty of it as well, so I'm not going to say I'm not. I'm not stuck in a hillbilly type, you know what I mean? Run around with a hay bale or something. And before anyone gets offended with that as well, get a life, guys. Literally get a life. If you actually believe that real people that call their self hillbillies are running around with a hay bale, then you're then you basically you're a fucking idiot. Because <clears throat> at the end of the day, I've met some people, yeah, that I'd call English hillbillies, yeah, and they're one of the nice people you meet. Just because they shout, they've got an accent, guys, and you sound like you don't know what you're talking about. A lot of people generally do know what they're talking about, and a lot of people also do have feelings at the end of the day, guys. You know what I mean? Now, like I say, I don't direct this at anybody that I'm talking to, you know, but it's just out there for everybody to listen to. Maybe if you listen to me, you'd see how I carry myself. Because a lot of people see me and automatically think, oh, God, look, bodybuilder covered in tattoos, he's, he's an arsehole. And, yeah, that's what you guys think. But, get to know me, you'll find out I'm not. I'm not bully, man. I, I ain't got a single nasty bone in my body until someone provokes me. I mean, that's how it goes. I ain't gonna tell people too much about myself because, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit private with my diagnoses and who I am as a person like that, but... I'll let you guys into my life to see my hobbies and hear me talk about my beliefs and things that obviously piss me off the day. Politics, I can go on about that all day, guys. I mean, they, they days, guys, piss me off left, right and centre. <laughs> but they do you guys at all. But basically, guys, I'm trying to keep my channel fun. You know, I'm trying to do it so if you come to my channel, you'll find it's fun. You know, I want you to take away all the crap that's going on in your life. And just be able to watch me and think, ah, oh, just a bit of relaxation, a bit of a comedy time, you know what I mean? A bit of a bit of this, a bit of that. Talk about normal everyday things, but at the same time, he's playing his game, he's enjoying himself. And that's what I want you guys to see, guys. That's all I want you to see, you know? I want you to see that it can be fun, you know? And, if, and I'd help anybody out if I could, guys. I really would. If you're feeling low and you feel like you want to jump off this planet, I'll say it like that because I don't like using the other word. Then, you know, if you seeked me out, I don't even have to know you guys, I'd have to know you. But if you came to me and said to me, I'm generally feeling that way, mate, what would you do? I'd talk you out of it. One way or another, I'd talk you out of it. Because it's a long time solution for a short term problem, guys. And I mean, even if it lasts 10 years in your life and you live to 100, that was a short term problem, guys. It was. Look, you outlived it by 90 years to the problem that only lasted 10. Problems last longer when you don't actually get them sorted out, guys. And I know I understand like, talking to the wrong person, what that's like. I definitely do. Definitely, definitely do. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this here. If I've said anything in this that made any sense to you, and you want to comment on it, then you can. By all means, do. If you thought this gameplay was good, or you thought the game was good, and you want to say something about that, you can. 
Hit a like if you want to like it, guys. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. I'm much appreciative of anything you guys do. You no, know, it's just good that you're watching the content. I'm happy with that, guys. So, you know what I mean? So, thank you very much for that. And I will see you all in the next gameplay, which I am not sure yet, guys, what it will be. It will be straight after this one, no doubt, though. But I don't know what it's going to actually be yet. So, stay tuned for that. And, um... Yeah, or the last thing I just want to say, guys, is if anything I have to say has offended you in this stream, oh, like I said, I'm sorry, guys, and at the end of the day, it wasn't directed at anybody, it wasn't directed to physically at you, you took it to be offended by it, you know, and I know I always say it like that, because it's true, guys, it is true, you know, I went sitting there with a picture of you in my head when I said this, and thought, ha, 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 that's directed at you. No, I just say these things that's on my mind. Sometimes I say it, and I think to myself, that's going to probably piss someone off. But it weren't like I was going to say it to do that. It's just I know the world today. The world today has a voice, and unfortunately they use it to bitch and moan about the one thing that doesn't matter as much as the things that do matter. I mean, how many people do you see moaning about the people that's not getting a good enough pay at the NHS and uh, ambulance drivers and stuff like that, people that's actually saving our fucking lives? No, you don't. You hear people moaning that he said oranges taste better than pears. <laughs> that's got no, no, you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I'm sorry I started the conversation again. So, anyway... Subscribe if you want to subscribe, like if you want to like, thumbs down if you want to thumbs down it, I don't mind guys, all feedback is feedback, you know, and I need to know what's going on, to know what content you do and do not want me to play, and so forth, so I will see you all in the next gameplay, thanks for watching.